Well, Hollywood star Charlize Theron and Seth Rogen have teamed up for a new political rom-com called Longshot. Charlize takes on the role of US Secretary of State, while Seth is a free-spirited journalist who she hires as her speechwriter. Weekend Sunrise movie man Jason Jabba Davis has <laughs> reviewed it for us. Good morning to you, Jabs. Hey, now, Jab. Longshot... I'm assuming that's because it's a long shot that Charlize Theron would be the Secretary of State. Like, to me, that seems like an mm. unlikely casting. It, now, good morning, Mon. Good morning, Baz. The title Long Shot, actually, it was the film was originally called Flasky, which is the name of Seth Rogen's character, Fred Flasky. He's a journalist for a left left leaning uh, magazine called, uh, based in Brooklyn, uh, called The Advocate. Now, it gets taken over by a media mogul played by Andy Serkis, and this is where uh, Charlize Theron, who plays the uh, Secretary of State to uh, President Chambers, her, name, her character's name is Charlotte Field. The long shot actually refers to the Basil Zemplis, um, uh, Monique Wright combination of would oh. a fella at that level ever hook up with a woman as stunning as yourself. Mm, mm. Uh, so Charlize <laughs> Theron, bit of a looker. <laughs> Seth Rogen, not so much of a looker. Um, but it turns out Charlotte, uh, Charlize's character, used to babysit Seth Rogen's character Fred uh -huh. when they were younger and uh -huh. he's always had a crush on her. She's uh, behind in the polls as she uh, embarks on a run for president when the president decides he's not going to contest it again uh, and they form a bit of a romance. Let's take a look at Longshot. It's really nice to see you again. Oh, I'm okay. Do boys and men just call me a cracker? What is the relationship exactly? I used to babysit for him. You babysat for him? Wow, time has not been kind. I need some writers to punch up my speeches. Fred's writing is really good, and he knows me. Oh, I feel so scared. In order to write better for you, I should kind of get to know you better if you have a minute. I actually have seven. Seven minutes in heaven. <laughs> <laughs> that looks good. That uh, does. So, Melissa and I went and saw that during the week. We were really in need of a laugh, and it delivered a whole stack of them. It is a top shelf rom com. Four stars for me. Really enjoyed it. Perfect yeah. date night movie. It is filthy, though. Oh. It, like, it is. There's, the swear words are filthy, but there are premises in there that are absolutely NSFW. NSFW. Not safe for work. Oh, ah, okay. Thank you right. very much. Or Thank children. you for explaining now, that. Yep. Guys, how often do you ask yourself what would William Shakespeare have been like as a pensioner? Yesterday I asked Always. that to myself, yeah. Always. Mm. Finally, a film is here to answer that question and it comes from Shakespeare aficionado Kenneth Branagh. Bless him, he's made this film basically off his own bat with a few of his mates and then it's been picked up by Sony uh, to distribute around the world. Uh, I went into it a little bit sceptical. Basically, the Globe Theatre burns down and William Shakespeare goes home to spend his last few years with his wife, Judy Dench. Let's take a look at All Is True. You must write again, Will. People need you. My soul was empty. Your soul is not empty, Father. Your soul has the whole world in it. Why? Why did you stop writing? I've never let the truth get in the way of a good story. All these years worried about your reputation. Have you even once considered mine? Yeah, it's a splendid Shakespearean biodrama. Three and a half stars, I'm giving that one. It does look like a bit of a slow burn, but very enjoyable. If you want an outstanding costume drama, The Favourite has just come out on DVD, and I watched that again last night. Three incredible performances in that film. But some good films this week, if you haven't seen The Avengers Endgame already. Good All stuff, right. Jab. Terrific. Thank you. Always Thanks, good to see you. Get back on the beach.